Don't do that. <laughs> oh, and we are back. We were talking about Ross's budget, how he can't go anywhere. Ross, right? let's talk about your budget. So, so background for our listeners, uh, we're planning a bachelor party for Phil, who's getting married next year. Congratulations again. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, Phil's dream destination is Amsterdam or somewhere else. Is it? Well, Am- are you sticking with Amsterdam? Well, yeah, yeah, because John offered it, and I'm like, that's a great fucking, you know. Sure. It's a great place. I mean, it's great that a friend offers that. You know, like some friends don't offer a place to go. You know what I mean, Ross? I said <laughs> Vegas. That's I say Vegas is better. Why, Why is Vegas, Vegas? Yeah, Vegas is a shithole. Are you kidding me? But what? Again, you're not failed on me. Gambling, well, hookers, and a shitload of fake. What people. are you gonna do and answer them? It's so different. There's uh, because it's anywhere in Europe is any anywhere in the world is actually better than Vegas. But you're, Europe, like there's there's a whole lot of culture and museums and and places to see. I agree, but the thing is, I don't have the extra spending money. Whatever you think I, you're gonna have money going to Vegas? It's gonna be you're gonna you're gonna be like broken when you come back. I'm not going after. to the gamble. Then what are you, what are you going to Vegas for? I Let, just, let's see. You want to you get say you get married, mm-hmm. and we're like, yeah, Ross, you want to go to a bachelor party in Vegas? What, what are you gonna do there? I say I say yeah. Let's go to strip clubs. Let's go to shows. That's that's what shows? Wayne Newton, a, a dead secret and right. Uh, no, I think doesn't like Lady Gaga have a residency there now. I know like. Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> yeah, so we'll we'll skip him. I hope you're okay with that, Ross. But uh, Blue Man Group, maybe? Blue Man Group would be cool. Like, anything Cirque du Soleil, I'm sure, would be really cool. Yeah, uh, shitload of money. But uh, the problem is, I just don't have an... It's, you you got to put that mic closer. You want you're not you want to you want to go in May and it's just not enough time for me to to save up. If this would like be like a like a year from now, it'd be different. But yeah. I, I can't. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I'll talk to Kelly about like you know postponing the mar- the the wedding. No, and you know, you know, you know what? Ross wants a year. I know you right? guys can get married, yeah. but no, I'll no, no, I'll do that. No, don't say that because you're gonna make me feel like an asshole, and I love Kelly. She's well, like, you are no. an asshole. Shut up. <laughs> But I'm trying to say, you know, I don't understand. You guys can go to Amsterdam, and we can go to like one night, us two, three, one and night John, stand, and go and go to a strip club. Dude, we could go to Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. We no. Um, my actually, I asked my brother like why he doesn't want to go because I guess he's uh he doesn't want to go. What's his reason? It's understandable. Well, no, me. he can't go because he says he he's going on a, on a spring break vacation that he promised his girlfriend for a while. <sighs> Nothing and to do so with money like my problem right now. He's totally a selfish cocksucker. But um, because I asked him, like, oh, well, we could throw, I mean, you could throw something with Ross since right. he's not going either. Oh, yeah, man, we'll have a bachelor party like in mom's backyard, you know, we'll barbecue. <laughs> Absol- absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, like, Milwaukee or something, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, one day. That's what I'm saying. It's like, no, that would be absolute. What, what? Car- karma flows. Uh, uh, We're all one. Yeah. That's unless, right. Unless your mom's gonna agree to let you you have two slippers over at her house, which well, Ursula is pretty understanding yeah, about she, that sort she, of thing. She can cover the first one. Yeah, all and that's right. That's what I did with my buddy D'Angelo. We all chipped in to get two slippers, and it was an awesome. And your night. mom stripped. Shut the hell up. Well, that's what we were talking about. You said yeah. that's that's what we did with my buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was Ursula. It was your mom that came. Oh shit. Dude, there's nothing more better. I would love to go to Amsterdam. It just not and see my mom strip. No, that I, 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 I want to go true. back to Europe. Is is it's this not enough time, man? Where have you been in Europe, Ross? Italy. Italy. Yeah. Did you have bring that pizza? mic closer? You gonna? I I've been to Italy. no, like pull it down. Oh, sorry. So you don't have to like look like you're you know facing the ceiling. Anyway, okay. So you miss Italy. You want to go back to Italy? I've heard actually, that Amsterdam is a lot like Italy. Actually, the only thing I like about Italy was the food. Really, you didn't like anything else? You are like canoeing through what Venice? It was. Uh, we didn't go there. It was a little too Aussie Fossey for my taste. A little too what? Aussie Fossey. Aussie Fossey? Artsy Fartsy. Oh, art. Got you. Uh, but I did enjoy the history though. There, so much history. I bet it was a bummer if you don't drink wine. It was. I. I didn't even drink wine. Well, I, dr- I. I think a lot of the places like you got to research before you go. You know. Well, everything is about my family. They. They like their stuff. I, yeah. I'm. And your family it. likes the artsy fartsy shit. Yeah. I had the same problem. Mm-hmm. Like Poland, I wanted to go to. You know. What I named my band after, Klex. I wanted to go to his castle that they made the movie after. I wanted yeah. to go, There's a shitload of torture castles. Which I would love to Co- go do myself. Co- Are yeah. those like escape yeah. rooms, just a little more intense? 
The they're, torture they're, castles? They're like uh, medieval time, dark ages, fucking like uh, the you know Iron Maidens. Yeah. And they had you know gallows, and then and like the rack. The is that the the stretchy machine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Braveheart. Yeah, much? yeah. They had that. They had one where um, you sit in a chair and there's spikes coming out of the ar- arms, Ugh. so it goes through your wrist slowly. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, those. And then there's the concentration camp museums, which is fucking great for anybody who loves to, you know, shoot around the word Nazi you everywhere. Even, you didn't even go to the, none of those places. I went to all those places because they. She she uh, she's like, oh, we got to go and visit our family. I'm like, well, we better go to all these fucking places, or I'm not going. Yeah, because we, compromise. We, we yeah yeah. I mean, like, why would you want to go somewhere and just spend the whole fucking time with your family a- anywhere? You know. Well, you don't you see your family a lot. Yeah, but uh, I don't mind that. You need you need a little more. Yeah, need, that's the only reason why I would go to Poland if you ever go back there because I would love to go see that con- the how, torture castles and the concentration camp. How you pronounce Concentr- it? Concentration camp. Yeah, yeah. it's it just I love history. You know, it's yeah, my one of the things I enjoy in life. Yeah. So a friend of mine was recently in Poland, and uh, he proposed to his girlfriend, now fiance, on the same day they visited Auschwitz. Yeah. And I think that that's the funniest thing ever. That And that's just how it worked out, because he's like, oh, I'm going to propose yeah. to her on a Tuesday. And that was the day his brother had planned for them all to go to Auschwitz. Oh, man. So, uh, God. yeah, Auschwitz Day and his... That's not your anniversary, right? That's like your actual wedding is your anniversary, not when you proposed. Yeah, yeah. Um, wedding is it? Yeah. So yeah. So, but still, like a very memorable day. Yeah. Now yeah. he'll never forget. Like, yeah. yeah, we went to a death camp that day. Yeah. Have you seen Sinus List? I have not. I have not either. Is it good? You. you I was about that. You. Why have you never seen that movie? I don't watch that many movies. Uh, um, well, me, I, I, I think like some Spielberg movies are pretty cheesy. Is that it, Spielberg? It, it, it's, yeah, it's far from cheesy. I promise you that. And it, it takes a lot to finish that movie without crying. It is so brutal. Why don't you just cry, Ross? Um, There's no shame in crying. I do every time. You're this, po- you know. For example, this woman was an author. author is, isn't it similar? Uh, not to cut you off, but I'm going to. Go you know, just so you can, just so you know how I feel. Shut no, the but. Hell up. And no, is that the same thing as like um is it similar story that uh men with the stripe or boy with the striped pajamas or something? A little I seen that movie too, a little different. That was also a book. Okay. It started as a book. Okay. And I don't I feel like it's different because I don't think I don't know, wasn't the boy's like father like in the army? Like wasn't he I don't know. I don't know the story I, at all. Actually, I just uh, thought it was like similar. Though with the uh, what's it called, uh Sinless list was about the Holocaust and the Jewish people getting out of uh yeah of something I I can't remember what, what, what I think it was like Germany and they were um getting all the the Jew, Jewish people out um and then moving them to uh I, I don't remember if it was Hungary or Poland and it was just, uh, make a long story short a thousand people walked to a certain destination to a to a um, sensor place where uh, the the main guy who um, Schindler Schindler yeah, um, yeah hired them to walk and pretty much save these people it was like over a thousand people that survived this holocaust yeah it, it, it's that a, it's sounds a, happy that sounds like a nice ending it, it, but it, before the ending is good but before that sure like it, all like the concentration camp and the ex- thing and 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 what's it called when, the, when there's no reason to execute somebody they just do it for no reason False sex, I don't know. tragedy. No, this yeah. is because they wanted to. They have no reason to. Uh, They'll be an ant. There was a. They said in the in the movie a massacre. Um, okay, you, they went to up to a, a person and shoot them for some no reason. The Chicago treatment. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. A senseless, <laughs> senseless killing. I don't know something if like that. You know what I'm trying to say? They, sure. They just shot them for no reason. Sure. And that's what gets you because it. They did it so much in a movie is they it fucks with your head, you know? Sure. You know what a movie is I hate to say but it's pretty fucking badass. What? Apt pupil. I think uh, I mentioned it before. Mm. It's it's a have you ever seen that? Mm mm. No. Nope. It's uh Is it a Holocaust movie? It's a uh, not Holocaust but like Nazi related. It's okay. a, the old guy for the 
he was he was he was old, but he used to be a Nazi. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen I've seen it too. That movie it's is been fucking a while. awesome. Yeah, it's uh the the Nazi is played by Gandalf. Mm-hmm. I forgot what his mm. name. And um, it's uh so Brad Renfro, is like obsessed with World War Two shit, and he's going to school and like he loves history class and shit, and he starts uh he like. I think he delivers newspapers or something, and he and he goes across this guy, the Gandalf guy, and he's like, "You look really familiar," because he's like an expert on World War Two. Sure. And he kind of starts like stalking him, and he says like, "You need to. I I get to interview you and hang out with you every day, and you need to tell me concentration camp stories, or I'll fucking rat you out." Well, who was he? He was uh, like a main like general, like a, like a, like a step below Hitler. Okay. And he like escaped and changed his name. Sure. And all this shit and like. The, the um, like he gets pretty Americanized, you know, and he's like, oh, I'm just, a, I'm a German Jew who escaped, and like that's what happened to me in the war. But he like yeah. is it's like, but he's that. a war criminal. And yeah, yeah, and like right. the whole like he starts, uh, you know, the kid starts threatening him because he's like, I want to see how you marched, I want to see how you felt when you stomped their heads. That kid sounds like an asshole. Yeah, but he but he starts losing his mind. The kid or the, Gandalf? The Gandalf. He starts losing his mind because he like starts uh remembering how callous his mind was and how he like he just like wanted to fucking yeah. kill everybody and you want me to tell you the ending because the ending is pretty badass yeah it's pretty crazy Gandalf well, fights well, Sauron I, well I, I I also was impressed because it's a Stephen King book that got made into a movie and most Stephen King movies I feel are very shitty and that was actually with a good the one. exception of uh, maximum overdrive oh God. how about it it even it was kind of yeah you know? Why are you so critical, Phil? Yeah, Phil. Because I'm an artsy fartsy hipster fuck that I you hate. You, you would absolutely love I'm Italy. I'm so gonna say <laughs> yeah. you don't know the deficit the deficit in hipster. You keep them, you know, falling that wood down, and you're right. the complete opposite because you don't okay. dress like them for the most part. You don't. I, the only thing you well, are, no, I'm I'm always myself. Yeah, I feel like the but, only thing you you're kind of critical on mainstream, but I am. No, I'm I'm critical on what I like. You yeah. know, like. Any, anyways, the ending is he ends up in a hospital w- next to another old guy, and they're about like they're about to find him out. And it's Saruman. It's Saruman, and, and they have to fight uh, on the, the roof. The, the guy next to him is a Jew that escaped from him when like when he was about to get killed. And he, the, the what a the, twist! The Jewish guy starts to like having a panic attack because he's like, "Oh, it's this guy." And then he looks out the window, and the the police are about to arrest him, but he goes out and follows the leader, so he kills himself. The Nazi kills himself, like so they can't get him. Was that based on a true story? No, Stephen King wrote it. None of that is true, except Maximum Overdrive. Right? Yeah, that was probably the did greatest you know documentary did, did I've you ever know seen. He, he directed that movie too. Who? Stephen. I don't think he directed it. Yes, it was. There's no way. Yeah, look at it on your phone. Maximum Overdrive. The movie. Oh, he was a apt pupil. He he, he directed which movie? He, the one with the the guy from the Buffet Buffet Club. The Emilio Estevez, Mighty Ducks. No, he, it was a movie too, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so confused right now. Max Overdrive was a movie too. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. He directed that. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was saying. But that's not apt sucked. people. No, uh, it wasn't apt people. I was talking about Max. No. Gotcha. Which was a great movie. Yeah. I agree that was a great movie, but it's on on Comcast. It shows one star. I don't get why people dude, don't com- like it. Dude, well, no, all that shit is bullshit. Well, it's yeah. the liberal media. Yeah, it is. That's that's spinning everything. They have an agenda. Are, are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm. I'm not. I'm not either. I don't always agree on those. <laughs> oh ratings. no, Maximum Overdrive sucked. Have you seen it? <laughs> like that was yeah, such a I'd, shitty movie. Well, 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 no. I'm saying like uh, like uh, he was saying, Epic Pupil had one star. No, he was talking about Maximum Overdrive. Oh. I do thought well, I think it was shitty. I, I think Well, no, no, I do think that that liberal media fucks with like Netflix shit. That's for sure. You think? There's too yeah. many shit yeah, on I mean, Netflix. I mean every every time I saw something that was funny and that people were talking about at like work, it's one star on Netflix because it's all just, there was one joke that was horrible. Or, well, that's based on what you watch and the ratings that you give things. No, I'm saying like from what I've heard from other people as well. I, and I, then, like everybody would tries to watch something that's like five stars, and it's like, oh, this was fucking horrible. I so. think we uh, 
especially you and I, Phil. Oh, leave me out of it. That's uh, cool. That's okay. You too, Bill. Thanks, Ross. Okay, we think one way, and the mainstream thinks another way. Well, here, here's a here's an interesting question that I I mean, it was by somebody who's a complete jackass, which I checked out. Uh, I, maybe we should review that. Sure. Have you have you ever heard of Gavin McGinnis? No. Have you, Ross? No. Well, okay, so fact checkers, you better watch me because Gavin McGinnis was, he founded Vice. Okay. And now he's like a huge asshole. The, okay, do you want my explanation, my, my point of view, or like just a default one? Just talk. It's, okay. Just well, go. Well, he, he, no, he like, he kind of turned into that Milo guy. He's just an attention whore super like alt-right guy and he's kind of very blunt about shit he's like well how come fucking mexicans need to go to work fuck them that's like how he talks in every interview and um yeah he kind of just uh i guess i guess the best way to explain it is he reminds me of like an angry white fucking like dude that i i like i remember as a kid like me angry and white extreme me that's no but he said one thing that i He's ninety percent of the shit he says is fucking ridiculous. Okay, but he he does bring up some good points because yin and yang. There's a little bit of good and a little bit of positive in anybody. And one of the things he brought up was he he got he, so he loved Vice because he got in trouble for writing some shit about how he thought like trans is a mental disorder. Okay, is that what that be, being trans? What's that mean? Like transsexual. You don't think it could be a mental disorder? No, I I, think I, you'll be I don't like I I don't think being trans is a mental disorder. I think that certain people who t- attempt to become trans have other issues that they should deal with before they make a big decision like that in their life. You well, know what I'm saying? I, I can be very uh, blunt about this. What? Tell us. I'm, I can ha- I have my feminine size uh, side of me exactly. And I, I like I like. I and like, what's wrong with being a feminine guy? That's I, always I like my, my jackets. I like my shoes and I like something clothes. But uh, am I gonna chop my dick off? It, no, no. There was there's three myself. I think there's a difference. Well, it's been proven. Well, it's been proven like seventy percent of people who do get their j- dick chopped off either commit suicide or regret it. So, but as I mean, you guys know, I'm missing a certain part. Yeah, and I and I'm so conscientious about it. Well, like, I I think there's a shitload of people who have suffered from a lot of rejection mm-hmm. and internet just evolve that even more yeah. since it's like it's easier for you to get attention but you're not getting it i think that you're bastardizing the issue and by saying that Bastard- there's a shit ton of people like i think it's still so well no well no i well no you don't think there's a shit lot of, a load of people who feel rejected i think there's get anxiety a, from uh technology i don't it? think there's a shit ton of people that are identifying as trans no, I no, think no. There's no. I, I'm talking about people who like suffer from rejection and who need sure. like. But you're segueing into like well, this I'm, is why they go trans because they no, no, made them that, sad. no, no. I'm not saying that at all. All right, I'll let you finish. Sorry. No, no, no. I just well, I didn't know where I was going, but. No. <laughs> the, well, no, no. I, so I'm then why so, do you no. bring it up? No, I'm not. I I don't mean to bring it up that way. I just feel like you know, there's there's people who, like, you know, maybe if they t- took a step by step process, they they might. Be like, well, wait a minute. I I'm actually not trans. Or I'm so actually, you know. the one thing you agree with, what was it? Something oh no, no, it was it was Gavin McGinnis. Was no, that? no, it wasn't that. What I what I agreed with him was that how a shit. I mean, I think I mentioned this before with my band. How there's a shitload of people who now you just have a privilege for being kind of like a minority as far as like in the art world. Like the art world is fucked because politics got brought into it. It isn't about. Does this sound good? Does this like the the whole? I think we talked about this before. Separating the artist from the art. Sure. And it's With like Cameron. Yeah. And um, what um, what uh, what he was talking about is, uh, he was talking about Obama, which I don't give a fuck about politics. But he was asking people like, so for example, you guys, I'll ask you right now, and I'll take both. I'll I'll evolve this so it's not a fucking Gavin McInnes opinion. Sure. But if you guys had to vote. Like, would you guys vote for Obama? If you absolutely had to. Now, uh, n- we when he was running. I voted for McCain. You voted for McCain. Yes. Did and you I, vote? And I didn't vote. You didn't vote. But I would have voted for Obama. You would have voted for Obama. Mm-hmm. So that, for example. Yes. What is? What are your top five, both, favorite policies about who you would vote for? 
Top five McCain policies. I have. I'm not going to comment. Why? Because I was listening on McCain's. Um, I, it doesn't matter who no, he is on, now. Hold on. Will, well, he's dead now, so. No, I'm talking about with the, the podcast. Sure. Listen. Yeah, we listened to a podcast earlier and it had a biography of McCain okay. and revealed some less than ideal. Yeah, well, who cares? No, but, but so you voted for McCain. So it happened. Why did you vote for him? I didn't agree with I don't think Obama was ready to be president. And what made you think that? His policies? And and like Bill, so what were your favorite policies about Obama? It's not a policy thing, it's a party line thing. And I tend to So it's to a lean tribal left. thing. So it's a tribal thing. And that and that and that's exactly what his point was, is that like a huge percentage of people who have for example, you have the right to have a gun. That doesn't mean you should. You have the right to vote. That doesn't mean you should. So, like, like a large percentage of people vote, and they don't even. It's his his point was that a shitload of people voted for him just because he's black. No. Which, th- no, it's completely true. Are you kidding? I know. Me? I, I'm saying that's why I didn't like him. I just, I don't think he was ready to be president. McCain at the time, I thought he did his time in in the um as a, a politician. He he deserved it. But well, I was also kind of bi- um, biased at the time because I was more on the right right um, wing. Now yeah. I'm in the middle. You know, I vote who I feel I I uh, I feel fits. I I be honest. Yeah, here. and that's your opinion. But that's fine. Also, if we're talking about presidential elections, yeah, your vote doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh so, yeah, I agree. That, I, I absolutely so, agree. You know, like it I, that doesn't was, no, matter. That, and that's what I'm saying is that the that's the example that he used. Sure. And I I sort of twisted it into like my way or like experiences that I've had. For example, I was I mean I don't mean to bring it up again, but it was like, dude, I thought like Black Panther won all these fucking awards and it was so shitty. And it's and you know what? Every person I ask, I'm like, well, what did you like about it? Well, dude, it was a great movie. It was a great storyline. Was I'm like, okay, what if? It was called White Panther, an entire white cast. Is the story still good? And that's what I mean. It like, wasn't a whole but um, entire black cast. It, it was the one who the the claw guy who looked like me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. But but the way it was pre- the way and that's you know what that's fucking marketing. Of course, during this like climate right now, yeah. dude, it's an all black cast. It's 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 about a, it's you know it's bl- there's a lot of black culture in it. It's perfect right now to sell. You know, sure, and yeah. I think that that's plus like, written by Stan Lee, a white man. You know, so may he peace. rest in peace. Yeah, rest yeah. In peace. So I don't. So you think that? So you want to? You want me to give you my experience? Yes. About, for example, I was in a band, and once again, we were talking about the word clicky, which there's a lot, a huge fucking clicky music scene sure. in Chicago, and we sort of just, I don't know. Oh, I, you were talking about like the poster where it's like, oh, it's. This guy, this guy, and everyone likes minorities. Yeah, yeah, and and and, 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 I, and what I did, and like so it was like so I had a band for a decade, and most of the fans that I had garnished, it wasn't from like per, like like friends of mine. They like I, I told people I'm like, dude, if you don't like it, like don't you don't have to like it. You don't have to go to the shows. Sure. And there's few of my friends who are into that exact specific neo psych garage rock scene. Why did you go with so, that music in the first place? Oh right, thank you, asshole. <laughs> but anyway no. Anyways, because I like it. Because that's it, it, sure. it relaxes me. But anyways, So the music scene. So the music so uh, most of my fans were people who actually like bought the record overseas or I went to Austin Psych Fest and I promoted it and people were like dude this is fucking great I still get messages because I put some shit like oh we didn't break up we're going on a hiatus till 2020 and they're like dude when is the new record coming out and I, and so point is that I legit 100% was always for the art sure. there's so many fucking right. and then there's a sh- and then like you know there's bands where like there's a full and, and, and you know there's a full band of that we played with where it's an all girl, all lesbian band. Okay, they fucking last for four months because that was their thing. Oh, we're so cool. We're 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 we're, we're all lesbian and we're, and we're all female. And the, you know, female sure. power. Which whatever. That was their catch because the music fucking sucked. They didn't last for f- more than four months, and here and they got more likes on say Facebook than my band did in a decade. So you're jealous. It's it's not jealous. It's like. 
it's not even it's not jealousy because this isn't a statement for just me. It's about in general and what affects something like a rating for a movie or a rating for an album where it's like, all right, wait a minute, is this actually good material or is you know? And so, anyways, you know what I ended up doing? I think I mentioned this before. You this, made a poster of a yes. I, yeah, I made I made a fake band. With some fake ass pun, because all all these local bands love fake. I mean, I don't think they're local, but there's you know you know the fake pun names like the Gaza Strippers, mm-hmm. Ellen and the Degenerates, David and the Crossboys, just pun name. Mm-hmm. I made some weird pun name, and I took four different pictures of me. One of the pictures was me looking incredibly flamboyant, so it looks like I'm a gay dude. Then there was another picture where I modified my face and the and uh, negative color, so I look black. And then I modified my face again, so I look Asian. And suddenly, three months, I got more likes for this fake band that there is no music for than a band that I actually put my heart into. And it's like, how so do you So what is it? the conclusion? What, what, what do you well, think? Well, the conclusion is like, y- you have to be yourself and you have to check things out for yourself and not trust like ratings anymore. Sure. You know? I, be- I want to stop you there. Because now, I mean, any... Wait, I mean, Ross wants to stop yeah, you yeah, there. Yeah, what? I'm very, very uh, racist. Uh, no, not racist. Oh. I'm being serious right now. You not think? anymore. All right, I'm sorry. Um, you know how I I like my music, right? Yeah. And I I 100 percent agree with what you're saying. I don't understand how, how bands are bigger they are. Five p- p- five punch death punch. Yeah. Five finger death punch. Disturb. Event Centerfall. You got to put the mic closer. Uh, Event Centerfall. Yeah, all these bands that are great are, are, are supposedly great. Well, they're super poppy, so poppy. it's easy for you know. That's sure. why they're that's because they relate to a lot of people. That's and why. The kind of I am a huge Slipknot fan, but that the reason is because I've been listening for over twenty years now. Yeah, I but just, they also, in my opinion, kind of sold out. I, I agree. The first, I, I only like that first album. That's the only one I ever liked. Well, why is it such a bad thing that people sell out? No, no, like, it isn't. You know, it, no, no, it's not about. It's no. It's the I, it, they it, don't it, have soul. It, 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 yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter the money thing. I, I'd be fucking gr- like Slayer, two hundred fifty dollar booty shorts. You know, they fucking sold out, but they still sound the same. Sure, they still kept their shit, and that's a great thing. And I feel like after like the first album for Slipknot, I mean. Everything was wait and bleed, and whatever becomes more popular and like screamo. No, I disagree. I I think Iowa was the best one. I People mean, eat eco shit by plague. That, I mean, that, that Iowa was a fucking. Awful. Well, 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 so, well. They lose that. Anybody loses that edge when they're like you know not well, poor and not going through shit. Sure, and I think that there's appeal to liking the underground because oh, like oh, you're niche. You're like oh, you're special. And well, I mean, you know, there, there, yeah, there definitely is. Yeah, so that's the hipster appeal. So you don't like these really, really popular bands because they're really, really popular. And it's like, what is this? Why do people like this? This isn't nearly as good as. Um, no, I mean, I mean, I think all of us here like popular bands because they're good. Well, I mean, Ross is just over here saying that Avenged Sevenfold isn't good, and. I think we can all agree that Avenged Sevenfold I, redefined I, I, metal. I, I never and, liked Avenged Oh, my God. Is How it, can you say that? I saw them once, and I walked out after three songs because they sound like... It was too sh- hard. You couldn't no, handle it. They well, like, it's a different type of, I mean, it, whatever. It's it's w- subjective. You know, It's like taste-based. So, But I think, and at least speaking from personal experience, if something is like just tremendously popular, I'm naturally inclined to dislike it because it's like oh that is, is massively popular then you say that again I, don't, I forget like if something is massively popular then you tend to dislike it right yeah okay just for the sake of yeah yeah like uh you know with some exceptions i can't think of yeah. like a good example but um, probably all a shitload of good rap right uh because like tupac biggie no, see, Thugs, I, I like that it's um and they're huge uh like poppy like lady gaga uh, no i shit um and i i feel like i'm getting better about it but it's like uh, oh really like you like star wars movies like you know so you, i think we talked about this too about the fans fuck it up not even the fans just the fact that it's such a i don't know i think that there's something to be said about liking something that's not popular and yeah yeah i think that maybe that Going back yeah. to like the minorities, 
I don't know, like you get, so even if you don't like the music or whatever, there's something to be, to be said about like, oh yeah, I support the all gay well, women's Yeah, yeah band. no, I, I, I support all that shit. I support everybody to do whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. Sure. But I'm saying these, like, you go to a show because you want, I mean, I mean I'm not going to tell people which shows to go. I'm saying these people, they're not fucking musicians. They're just, I'm special because whatever i'm part of the say the uh, like it, for just for example sake i'm part of the lgbt community so all right you know 10,000 fans everybody fucking likes sure. well wait a minute you haven't played yet well no, no it doesn't matter. I, I i went through a lot of shit people go through shit so there's some people who go through that and and they don't even expect that there's some like cameron was saying that he is going through that shit and he doesn't want people like him just because he sure. identifies as queer yeah and but he's not going to turn them away Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, you know of he's course. not going to say like, you know, unlike my Facebook group, if you only yeah, like yeah. me. So I think it's a marketing strategy. Yeah, but I mean, and did, a successful uh, uh, one. Do you support that? Would you do that? I mean, if manipulate I, people to or fake shit to get a crowd. Well, who's faking shit? Well, not other fa- than oh, you yeah, yeah, <laughs> making no, no, no. your fake poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. No, I, I don't know what. No, so I don't know. Bus. Like, let's like from. Me, for example, like, oh, the blind comedian. Like, I incorporate blind jokes into yeah, yeah. my routine. And Absolutely. That's, and you know I, why I like that? Because there isn't a lot of blind comedians. It's right. something new. That's right. Have you ever, have you, do, are there any other blind comedians out there? Uh, I haven't I seen don't know any. any. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've seen, like, a cerebral palsy comedian. Yes. And then there's, like, the, there's a deaf comedian on one of the roasts. How, how, the, how does he do it? Was she a comedian or was she, like, one of the because i remember yeah, I that was the, the the jersey shore roast i saw once i think so and she's like oh. or was it or was the situation on there but yeah it was in jersey. yeah this is, like like me the situation has never heard the sound of laughter and that was i remember that yeah anyway Dude, i just i would love to be a comedian and make fun of my situation i i just don't know how to write jokes very well i i think my situation we could take a class we could teach you yeah, that's oh, what Bill I'm saying. Can. You know how, how many shits I, I I have. I just don't know how to make jokes out of it. Pause. Lou just texted, are we still recording? What should I say? Yes. Yes? Okay. Well, no, I mean, I didn't know if you want to bounce. Um, uh, I'll put yes. Say okay. say yes. What's up with you? <laughs> Let's make this a part of the podcast. Yes. Because I noticed that he texted me earlier, and it's like, I'm not yeah. going to check my phone. Okay. I'm not going to text. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I also like use voice texting, so I so, could so be back subtle. Our, so, back to conversa- um, I mean, another thing that I, I, I heard on, um, I forgot where. Sorry, Obama. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that was the that was the point, but it got me onto like a, a lot of other things. Like, do you like? The biggest thing that ma- obviously matters to me is music, and everybody is getting judged. Like everybody is getting a fucking background check now on anything you do. You know because. What do you mean? Well, oh, uh, who did you vote for at this year at this time, and what what kind of person were you know, like? He's got his own light. You're oh, gonna light so the mic you. on fire. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank Dino you. Dino Bosco's coming out. No, so I think this is being a gentleman. So no, so um, well, no, like I was I was listening to uh, to 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 this video. There was um, they were talking about how there's this comedian in Australia who is a lesbian and people were super pissed off because they would go to her show. It was like two hours long. I forgot what her name is, but they'd go to her show and they would literally throw shit because like none of it was funny. It was all spoken word. And her quote that made got everybody pissed off is you don't have to be funny to be a comedian. This is a new type of comedy. Sure. It's like bitch keyword of comedy or comedian is comedy. Sure. So uh, what are you fucking talking about, you know? You could be like Henry Rollins and just spoken word, but if you're being a comedian like, you know what I mean? I mean, that's like that's like saying, you know, have making a horror movie and be like, "Oh, this doesn't have to be terrifying." I mean, it could be comical. Sure. So what does the so, fact that she's a lesbian have to do with anything? Because that's that's I think that's what got her huge. Is like, "Hey, I'm a comedian, but I also am this little specific you, you, you know there's this i i'm saying okay here's the other point that he made that i i personally agree with it may be offensive yeah but wait what was the first point that he made the point was the the, the whole thing the whole like well you did this because this person is a minority 
you you listen to this band because this person is my you like this movie sure. because it's it has a political agenda rather than judging the movie by if it's good sure like i liked i don't know why i liked that movie death wish i think it was kind of cool and everybody's like oh it's a white savior movie i don't give a fuck like i i don't go into these movies all right well who's in this movie and what who did they vote for and uh what party did they stand for it's like i mean that's like the same reason why even like last man standing or roseanne getting canceled for the conservative shit that's why they both got canceled because the conservative well no roseanne is a more complex story i'm sure. not going to get into that we've gotten into but, it in the but, past yeah yeah so. but like t- i didn't even know that tim allen got canceled just because he strays towards the conservative party that's right. that's literally why they canceled the show because of like liberal media or maybe that's just what they're telling you yeah i mean we never know we gotta we, get a ouija board we never know but so, uh I so the first point was people like yeah, minorities. Oh, 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 yeah, just yeah. for the sake of liking. Yeah, yeah. yeah rather, or minority and, art, and it's and it's killing fucking art. It's killing like you can't. Art is supposed to be an open world where you express anything, and you can't express anything anymore, because people are get pissed off. You cannot. You cannot. I don't understand how you can, you know, uh, like say okay, so say, like obviously this is a huge fu- like like I mean I've read this in every article. Metal is about being scary and fucking terrifying. Which is why Nazism is a huge topic. In my opinion, I think it's it's gotten boring. It's gotten hacky because every fucking metal band has a song about Nazis. Sure, so, except for Avenged Sevenfold. Oh yeah, the, the Godfathers of metal. Yeah, yeah. Fuck well, you. Anyways, Fuck so so I think it's gotten boring. But the point is, like, there's people getting mad. It's like this is supposed to be scary. This is supposed to be terrifying. You know. But, but this has been going on since metal started. Yeah, yeah, it has. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm just being you know a dumbass and not thinking about the past. Huh. So what was the second point? The second point, real quick, I'm sorry, Ross, was this whole thing about how what what ties into this a whole agenda thing in the art world is that when people say homophobia, it's not homo- like I think people are homo bored. They are homo bored. H- how does like it? It's such a significant issue. It's like the whole, the whole, um, the movement of you know we're here, we're queer. Get used to it. Isn't that like since the eighties and like George Michael and shit? You know, rest in peace. Yeah, w- w- no, isn't that like how how long ago it's been? I don't know. Maybe longer. Maybe yeah. Maybe longer. You know Village what? people, YMCA. You know, and 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 it's just like, okay, you're here, you're queer. We got fucking used to it. You aren't. You are not like an incredibly significant person just because you're that what else are you what else are you into what uh, what other talents do you have you know and i think i don't know about the art world um but well maybe yeah yeah maybe it's like just mass media i oh he came out everybody needs to celebrate it's just like okay i don't know i think you're like stifling the voice of my of a minority or still like when was gay marriage legalized in America? Like, I honestly last don't year, know. two yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. So it's still like pretty relevant, and there's yeah, still yeah. a lot of inequality. And so I think, mm-hmm. like, chalking it up to, uh, well, no, game. Uh, so that would be a significant topic to like celebrate and sort of represent is specifically gay marriage. But it's just like somebody being like, you know, all right, I'm gonna be on this podcast and I'm gay. I hope you're okay with that. It's like, dude. I've been okay with it my whole fucking life. I sure. Don't think, you know. But uh, I don't know. If people want to support it, I say more power to their voice. Yeah. I, ju- I mean, I, I well, what I'm, so so as far as like tying into the art world, I don't think it gives you, ex- like I, like what I'm saying is, so you you mentioned your, one of your favorite bands is Frank Zappa, you know? Sure. Rest in peace. To be completely honest, do you think you would like him more if you found out that he was like, gay? Uh, probably wouldn't change. For some people, it would though. I mean, you, d- sure. You don't think so? And and that's and I, I guess that's my point. And I don't know if that's necessarily like it's petty. Sure, maybe. Yeah, but yeah. That's a good word for it. So you think if Freddie Mercury was never gay, you think Queen would it be as? Big? I, I don't think that would be a, that big of a deal. Really? I do, Yeah. I mean, I I mean, but I I was never nuts about Queen, so maybe sure. I can't speak for it. I mean, the bands that I like, I mean, from that era, maybe, like, I don't know, like, I liked maybe ACDC or 
like T Rex. T Rex is a new one. You know, um, they're not. <laughs> he's not new. I don't know every band. Oh, oh, I think new, so new to you. Yeah, it's yeah. new to Ross. Yeah, check it out. Bang the gong. And, and I'm saying I don't. Th- I don't know if they'd be as well. Like okay, so the metal world, Judas Priest. Right. I mean, I don't know. I think he's like I, as as a band. If I didn't know shit about them, I'd be like, well, they're kind of like one hit wonder. They have like three good songs and the rest is shit. It's like a three hit wonder. So three. I think yeah. they're a little better than that. But, you know. Okay. No, no, that's cool. That's your. You know. Yeah. But but I but and I'm saying like yeah like the whole him coming out and being I I think that like automatically give them like fifty percent more. It was pretty yeah. obvious he was gay. He was wearing leather, and that's what I said. About <laughs> Every leather. fucking black metal band wears leather. Yeah, but again, that's what I said about back 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 then. I'm saying you know yeah. That's and that's what I said about Freddie Mercury. You know, there's yeah. signs that you know sometimes people. Are, Totally. Yeah, yeah, no, there's there's definitely signs. It, it's a little harder nowadays, but back then, you know, wearing leather, it was not the thing. When you say it's harder nowadays, you say, like, now they wear bears hats and wolves of the throne room shirts. and Is that what that? you mean, Ross? Is that is that what Ross is wearing? Dude, you... Yeah, wait a minute, what? Ross is... Oh, dude, you fucking got me, man. <laughs> anyway, so it's a complicated <laughs> issue. It's Yeah, it's a complicated issue. And I just, yeah... And I agree. I'm you pissed shouldn't. off because it's fucking up the art world. Right. I feel like I don't know. And I hundred percent agree with what you're saying, Phil. I will do. And and I think I I feel like I don't know. I don't think it's that. And this is my opinion once again. So I respect everybody's other. Sure. I don't think it's a fucking. There's a reason to mix politics and, for example, music. Like, have you have you ever? Like it's. I think it's very rare that you mix both. And it ends up being, and they end up being good. I mean, I can think of like Rage Against the Machine was good when I was, you know. Sure. Maybe System of a Down. Sure. And then that's probably it. I don't know who else. Like, well, I think it depends on your I definition really of political. Henry Wallen's a little bit. I don't. I don't. Was he political though? I mean, I, I don't know. What about you, Bill? Like, are there any where it was strictly like politics? You know, strictly polit like. And then a good and like music. I don't know. So going back to Frank Zappa, he was very politically minded. I yeah. Think. Um, I but it, but I don't think he put it into his music. I right. think it was kind of a he goofball. He didn't like censorship at all. That oh yeah, yeah he I was think we're both for huge about that. About but free speech. Yeah. Yeah. About free and I think we all are right. Yeah. Exactly. All here. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. You know, side note, before I forget, I didn't know Frank Zappa was like associated with uh, Captain Beefheart. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, he was huge. I never fucking knew yeah. that. Because I love Captain Beefheart, and I did like never know, listened to Frank Zappa. Did you know Captain Beefheart is all about the cult? If you listen, about the cult, yeah, cult, um, like the band. No, um, cult. By uh, being a cult. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. in a cult. Yeah, I no, didn't know I didn't. That. I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I just liked him because it sounded like what every local garage rock band is trying to be, but they're not doing good at. It. Right. He was so original, you know, Cup and Beefball. That's why I like yeah. him. He doesn't have exactly a great voice, but he what he's what he's about was I I dig it. I love know? his voice. Yeah, I love it. it reminds different. me of Credence. Oh man, you what, know so much music, man. What uh? So I I, I you think know I CCR. Yeah, if I listen to it. What I know yeah. it, dude. Definitely, everyone knows. We're Credence. gonna run through the jungle. How, how many how many fucking hits can we name right now? Oh my god, Fortunate Son. Born on the bayou, down on the so. corner. Um, down on the corner, out here in the street. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 See, that's I not... want to know whatever star the rain. Well, yeah. Let me ask you this. As a musician, why does people got to get so high when they're singing? Instead of, why not? Because it, yeah. I don't. I love it when it's high. I. Why do people got to get so low? Yeah. Like fucking yeah. piss grave. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like putting something in a you know disposable fucking in your sink. Because when you sing this high, you sound like you have no but, buzz. But it, but it's and natural. Can- it's natural. Like and uh, it's good. I don't know. I like Rush. I like yeah Led Zeppelin. I, I know like you're not a Led Zeppelin fan, but no, I, I like Led Zeppelin. You know, I, I, I think they're pretty high. ACDC, I would say. ACDC, yeah. all they all sound the, every song sounds the same, like Motorhead to me. Are you the early shit is pretty punk with Bon Scott? So um, with Slayer, when they first started, it was pretty punk. Well, yeah. and and he has a high voice. Ah, Angel of Death. 
It's pretty high. Yeah. What do you say, Ross? I respect Slayer. What about Judas Priest? Huh? Okay. What about, and I like I fucking love like Blood Brothers. I'm going to do so much weed shows when I get home because I research. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, listen fa- to all yeah, of it. I'm sorry, fact checkers. Ross has not done his research. That I well, know. Well, s- well, I think we interrupted. I was interrupting you about you were talking about Frank Zappa being political. Yeah, he was political. I. I don't. I know. mean, it's hard to. Me- I'm saying it's hard to mesh the both together and have a good product. And I feel like usually people just stick to that one thing. I don't know. Sure. And I think going back to the topic at hand, like the big umbrella topic like i think there's always going to be people that support a certain like, artist or a certain group yeah, or yeah. whatever there always will be. based solely on on that and i think on their credentials rather than the actual material well i was not like credentials per se but like personal choice or like minority status and i think yeah. that uh, currently like there's a need for it like that solidarity is important. I think there's always going to be that solidarity, and I yeah. think some days. I don't. I I I don't think there's. Uh, I wouldn't say there isn't a need for it, and I and I love it, but I don't think it's makes it like super significant. Like it's. I don't know. People are making it out to be like a huge fucking thing, you know. That's to me, it. to me, a huge fucking thing was like that band Trash Talk. I've never fucking heard a harsh, fast, crazy fucking punk band. That's like two black members that are skaters, two white guys that are skaters. That to me is cool as fuck. Sure. Because they're coming from like different shitty sides of LA or California. And then somehow they meet and make a great fucking band. That's a rare thing. Do you think it's cool that like it's half black dudes, half white dudes? I do. So like that's that's kind of the same thing as. No, but it's it's, it's good because before I knew that, I I liked the material. But then like. I'm like, oh wait, wait, this is like another edition. So yeah, I guess sure. maybe, you know, maybe I just maybe you changed my mind here. The, you know, <laughs> so I think I'm saying maybe well, just judge the material more. I right, guess, is the point. Well, no, I think like that 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 is pretty cool that it's like mixed, like you know, a mixed group. And mm-hmm. but where can you draw the line? Like, oh, that's cool, but not like for lesbians. Like that's not cool. Like how no, can it's you? No, no, it's not cool because you know, it's, the music sucked. Sure, but. You know, it's it, I, and and I think I I think I had like that um debate like like not debate but we were just I was talking with a friend I'm like no that band fucking they're horrible it's sure. like, yeah but dude they're they're that's the, like the coolest thing ever you know they're like these four lesbians who are dating each other that's like cool I'm like but the music fucking sucks like what is cool about that but you also don't like the Beatles so you know yeah like what why. Why does that tie in with Beatles? Well, because everyone loves the Beatles. I don't like. Oh the yeah, yeah. Oh, except for the so two I, people. So I. It all comes down to Phil is a picky bitch. No, no, I get no. It, man. And no, I'm a picky get bitch it. too. Ross, you are a picky bitch, but Phil. But I like the Rolling Stones better <laughs> than the Beatles. I mean, same here. Yeah. You probably have never listened to uh, the White Album. I listen to all of them. All of them? Yes. All of them. So you're quite I, the Beatles fan. No, I'm I've definitely a listened to everything Beatles, but it'd be, it'd be just having Gavin. But again, I get, bored with, I get bored with the Rolling Stones too. Uh, that ill, yeah, just, sure. Rolling it's, Stones, I only like like two albums, to be honest. It's just too simple. That music's too simple for me. Well, you're a complicated guy. You need a bit more complexity. And it, and it, and it was at a time that it was rock kind revolutionary. Of just, yeah, and so. and and they were kind of experimenting with. Well, maybe this sounds good. Maybe this sounds good. You and know? I think you have to appreciate the time and yeah, the feel. When bands like that, you know, came out. Yeah. Let me ask you this. The, ask me this. Um, the guitarist Keith Richards. Sure. With, why is he alive? Is that the question? Yeah, that's no, a no, good that's question. Why. Can he play like the bands I listen to? Uh, uh, I don't know. He's pretty ricky. Can the bands that you listen to play Keith Richards? Ooh, there's the question. I'm trying to say, people say they're so he's so talented. So what? He's talented in his field. Yes. Right. Yes. So he writes catchy riffs like. That's the Rolling Stones, you know. And he's talented because he's old as hell. Yeah. And what? Well, uh, uh, still the, doing it. Um, um, the guitarist from the Beatles, uh, John Lennon and George Harrison. Gales, can they uh, do. Uh, Harrison, I knew a shitload of people in the psych scene love Harrison. Oh, yeah. The best because he's like every instrument the sitar, right. the. Oh, yeah. What's that like? Um, the uh, Arabic the accordion harmonica. No, no, like that accord. It's like a push box. 
with oh, keys? I don't know. Yeah. Um, so it kind of sounds like a snake charmer thing. Oh, know? I don't know. I'm sure there's a name for it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know it. Uh, can I sneak out and use the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Are, well, <laughs> well, are we wrapping this up? Yeah, do you want to so, wind it down? I, I feel like my bladder is a good barometer of like yeah, breaks. Yeah. So, uh, Ross, any final thoughts? Nope, I'm good. All right, Phil, any final, any final thoughts? I'm a picky bitch, and... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Christmas. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah. You can find us on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Blueberry Pod, Bean, um, Wikipedia, um, the New York Times. We're everywhere. So yeah. thank you for listening. Special thank you to our Irish fans. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Good night. Good night. Don't do that.